Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Undrafted MVP. We're on to episode 10 as we'll be playing through weeks 10 and 11 of the 2020 season against the 2 and 6 Jets and the Detroit Lions. So let's get into some training and then we'll have a look at the standings. So we have another player point to uh, upgrade ourselves with. So we are going to go with Strong Arm again. And that will put us up to an 89 plus one confidence boost taking us up to a 90. We've got a plus one to our throw pattern, so that's gonna help us a lot going forward. So we are top of the NFC by quite a way. All other teams are currently three games back. So of course, we beat the Giants in the last episode, we've beaten the Redskins twice already, and we beat the Eagles in our first game this season. Going into the NFC, we are currently second to the Chicago Bears. The Bears only top the NFC due to their points against. At the moment, we're both teams seven and one. Week 17's matchup against the Bears looks to decide the conference as to where the number one seed will fall. So let's get into our first game against the New York Jets. So we're straight on the field. And as always, we're gonna give Elliot the ball to start the game. We're going to look to hand the ball off a little less and throw the ball a bit more as we go down the stretch just to boost our MVP credentials. But Elliot starts off the game with five yards on the ground. Zeke only had 14 carries in the last game, so he should be fairly fresh for this game. He's already had two to open this, <laughs> to open this game. We will run it with Zeke again. He should have got that. No. He didn't get it. We're going to go for it. We're going to go with the stretch, see whether they're ready for this. No is the answer. And Elliot, if he beats the... Well, he didn't beat the defender. Could have had a touchdown there. Ideally, I want to hit Olsen on this. Looks like a blitz anyway. It is. Oh. Didn't look at the defender, just threw it because of the blitz, and that could have been a pick. Here's Crowell in. He has a big run. One rush for 12 yards, I like it. There's Michael Thomas open as we complete our first pass of the day for 20 yards. Couple one robber maybe. Yeah, it's man coverage. And there's that middle linebacker in the underneath coverage and the safety behind him. So, and at this time, Gallup looks like he's the open guy. Ooh. Let's run. No, we're going to be sacked instead. No, it's zone. We're going to hit. Uh, excuse me. Who was that? And we settle for a field goal. At the moment, we seem to be conceding a touchdown on the opening drive for our games. I don't know whether the defense just hasn't woken up, but uh, we need to we need to really focus on getting our offense scoring touchdowns again. Uh, tried to throw the ball away. Ugh. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your backdrop. We're sacked again. Ugh, this is terrible. We've already been sacked three times. We're now down seven. It's been a really terrible start to the game. Which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. But they're looking for it now. I want to hit hands underneath here. Oh. That middle linebacker just didn't choose either player and just stayed in the middle, which almost actually uh, made him intercept the pass. So far, tour of five, we've been poor, but we need to get something going here. I will take that deep. And Michael... <sighs> so we punt a game. We just need to get a drive going. Otherwise, at this rate, we're not going to be getting any points. And old school coaches don't necessarily Michael Thomas gets the first down. We finally completed another pass. 
Why are we being insta sapped like that? Terrible. It really was. And there we'll take Thomas over the middle again. Okay, so it's the first down for Gallup. We're going to run the double slot unders. We're going to hit Hearns. Sorry, Moncrief, who's our fastest receiver, of course. And he gets another first down by the looks of it. On first down, it's Romo. Or is it? We'll throw it to Thomas anyway. And he's taken down at the seven yard line. And we'll throw it to Michael Thomas again. Touchdown. That's what you call a two minute drive. We'll tie the game up, hopefully, with the extra point. We are going to be fighting for our lives in this game. We need to score a touchdown on this drive. We'll take Michael Thomas on the out there. 10 yards. We'll take the first down. Now we're taking over. Well, uh, I would appreciate it if Elliot wouldn't run backwards like that. And there's Michael Thomas open again. After we had a pretty bad game against the Seahawks today, I think that's his eighth catch out of our ten completions. Cover three. And we'll hit Thomas again. Another big play from him. He's going to be NFC Player of the Week at this rate. And run it towards the safety and should have checked out of that. It's another run for a loss. Hmm. I know there's a, there's a DB on the edge of the uh, just outside the right end. It's zone coverage under. It is man coverage. Elliot, get the first down. There we go. It didn't look like it was going to be man coverage, but uh, it was. I need to stop predicting what teams are running against us because it just I just seem to get it wrong every time. I thought I was good at reading defenses until I played this. Here's Romo now on second down. Ugh. The players I wanted to hit were both covered pretty well there. Third and 11, we need to get a field goal on this just to tie the game up. Well, we get no yards off that, but we do. We are in field goal range, luckily, so hopefully I can put it through. We do. And... Oh, at 13 all we finally stopped the Jets. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost are to Ugh. The Jets are a 73 overall team. Apparently the Cowboys are a 94, but I don't believe that with how we're playing. Elliot went outside for absolutely no reason. We're going to the Texas play. We haven't run this all game, and we always have good success with throws over the middle to either Olawale or Olsen. So let's have a look. It's Olsen who's going to be the open receiver here. So we'll go back to the slants and hope that one of our players can get open. And the guy that's open is our most reliable guy, Michael Thomas. I don't know how many catches he's had so far this game, but it is a huge amount. Michael Thomas has been our top receiver, and his stats show. Why did he cut it back? Third and long here, it's Romo. Over the middle complete, it's Thomas. So that will take us up to fourth and six, which means we're going to have to rely on the kicker again to hopefully put us in the lead. He does. We're lucky in the fact that we have a very liable kicker. Points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. Right. Hand off to Elliot, and that's his best run probably since his opening three carries. So at 16 all, we've been really pushed to our limits by this uh, Jets team. They're all in the box. Don't know whether they're sending a blitz this time. No, they spread back out. 
So we'll hit hands underneath. The defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And very little danger. Elliot with another unneeded spin. He's had 14 carries for 60 yards. That was the same case on that play. Now Romo flushed out right. That's a lovely pass to Olsen as well. We're in a good position now to actually... Oh, okay, Elliot slid through that gap. We're in a good position to take the lead. We went to cover three and Moncrief was open. We're down to the 16-yard line, so we're finally back into the red zone. We haven't been in the red zone for quite some time. Not since the last two minutes of the... Uh, <laughs> of the first half, which is terrible to, to actually say that, but, you know, we are here at last. Let's see whether they can sniff out the same play. Doesn't look like it. There's Thomas open again. That was terrible. Have we missed our chance there to go and win this game? I hope not, but uh, let's... Am I going to be sacked again? Yes, is the answer. Right, let's see how we... As Olawale picks up the first down, it's exactly what we want to see. And the Jets are going to start taking their timeouts. So from the five, we're going to give it to Elliot. And uh, see what he can do. Right up the middle and scores a touchdown. There we go. We take the lead. 22 to 16 at this time with the extra point to come. It was good. It's 23 all. Oh my word. So. We're sacked. Oh, we're sacked again. It's time for us to drive down field. There's Elliot, oh, he gets a huge hit. So he's had 17 carries, 77 yards of a touchdown. This is where, if we want to be MVP, we need to come up in the clutch. And there's Greg Olsen again with the catch. We're up to nearly 300 yards past it. We actually haven't had as bad a game as what I think we have. There's Michael Thomas again. We're, we're just going to hit those guys that are reliable and can get open. This is our highest output in terms of passing yards. So it only seems to be when we go to overtime, do we actually throw for over, five, uh, over 300 yards? There's Michael Thomas. He's just so, just has a knack of getting open. And that's Alan Hearns down on the one, under a yard to go. In overtime, clock running. This is where champions are made. And Robo is in. We win the game 29 to 23. Not the best game by any means, but we do get the win. And yeah, teams are coming to play against the Cowboys. They do not want us to get that number one seed. So after week 11's training, we have another player point. So this time we're gonna go field general increase our overall we've actually gone up to a 92 overall with the plus two confidence boost so we have plus one thoraxi deep plus two thoraxi mid and plus two throw on the run so we take on the two six and one lions and we come out with the first drive as always we want to put elliot first get him some yards early on and then take over with the passing game. I mean, Zeke has had better first carries, so we'll give it back to him, see if he can improve on that. Oh my word. Elliot fumbled the ball. I think that was out. That's going to be confirmed by the referee, isn't it? No.
we got very lucky there. Following the fumble recovery, Romo. And there it is, open again. Michael Thomas makes the catch. And that's one catch for 28 yards. Keep him in front of us. They're going to have to do that. And, and when they say that, it means tackling him after the So Elliot is not having the best start to this game. Three carries for four yards. Maybe we're going to have to take over in the pass game and give him a bit of a rest. To throw on second down is Romo. There we go. That's Alan Hearns open. We don't use Hearns a lot, but... Uh, when we do, we make good passes like that. We'll hit Michael Thomas again, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. So, a much better start to this game than what we had against the Jets. We only concede three points on their first drive this time, so clearly the defense has a bit more zip about them as well. We'll give it back to Elliot, see what he does here. It's still looking like they're going to shut him down. Four rushes for seven yards, under two yards of carry. Okay. That's a better better fit for the run. Still doesn't get the first down. He went to spin again. We should be able to uh, get somebody open here. And Hearns was the first guy open. I was a bit sad that Hearns didn't get a touchdown at the end of the overtime drive because... Uh, he made a really nice catch getting us down to the goal line, but uh, that happens unfortunately. And there's Hearns again, that's his third catch of the game. Okay, back to Elliot, see if he can actually get something going. Oh, there you go, that's what we want to see from him. 14 yard rush, now his numbers look a little bit better. Let's go Zeke. That time I understand the spin. There he goes. Huge hole up the middle, and he gets 15 yards. But it could be covered too. This man. So we'll hit Thomas. That's his second touchdown. And we are taking a two score lead. And so, as always, we'll give it back to Elliot. It's a good run as well. Why he didn't try and stiff arm the defender or truck him, I don't know, but. Nine rushes for 68 yards. He's starting to look like the Zeke of like weeks one to six. We give it back to him. He's had a very good game so well. He's had a good last four carries, that's for sure. And that's me holding the ball too long and uh, we allow the sack. They're going to start sending blitzes as we... Scored so easy on them the last two drives. Zone coverage, so we'll hit Moncrief as he gets open underneath one of the zones there. And there's Zeke again with an open hole. Thomas has been incredible. Romo not quite as incredible, but still, you know, I think he's been pretty good. Uh, Elliot, you were right there to uh, make that block. Why didn't you? From the gun, here's Romo. There's Hearn. Well, Hearns would have been open, but instead he's uh, the ball's knocked out. I think that should have been caught, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, he hit a 59-yard field goal on that drive as well. That's a mad kick. So we run this play quite a lot. You will end up seeing Michael Thomas un open there. <laughs> and he gets another 22 yards off of that one. Zeke with another good carry. And we're down to the two-minute warning. We hit Moncrief there for the first down. Could be cover one. It is. There's Michael Thomas open for another catch. And again, he's open. There's Thomas making another catch. We've got Gallup here as our main receiver. I kind of want to hit him, to be honest. And instead, we are sacked. 
Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because it's little ball in the face there. I saw we want to get at least a couple of plays in and hopefully get a touchdown. The starters are back in, so we want to hit Michael Thomas as always. Oh no. Uh, forcing passes where I shouldn't again. That's where we need to get ourselves on the board with another touchdown. Simple as that. Oh. Who was that? Give it back to Elliot. Hopefully there'll be some room. There is. Oh, he spins out the defender and he could be in for a touchdown here. He is. That's his longest run of the season. 59 yards to the house. So Zeke got his, I think, was his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. So that's excellent for him. He's also over 1,500 yards now for the season as well. And instead of going through the hole, he tries to cut it back and... Gets himself into trouble. Stop giving him the ball now. We need to increase our MVP uh, standing. We'll throw the ball to, to Elliot. But uh, no more handing it to him. There's Moncrief open as we send both guys on the slant there. We go to the usual five wide with the stick play. And that's Thomas with another touch, uh, with another catch, not another touchdown yet. Who knows? Will they play the same, or will they? They're running a blitz here, and there's Thomas, and there's another touchdown, diving and smacking the defender in the face as he gets into the end zone. We extend our lead. We're looking pretty good. If we score another touchdown, that should should ice it for us. And there's Hearns open a game. There's Michael Thomas again. Stiff arm in the defender and getting down with another 15 yards. Now we haven't run any wide receiver screens as such this year. I'm seeing whether Thomas on the jailbreak screen will actually do anything here. Oh, we were smacked as we threw that, so no is the answer. We can't do anything on that. So we'll hit Julius Thomas underneath. Oh, he gets smacked as well. As I say, this play we've used a lot so far. It's actually man coverage. And we'll hit Thomas again. And he makes the catch again. So we're up to 315 yards in this game now. We'll hit Olsen. He doesn't get many, but I need to throw it to him more. Okay, five wide, and is that Moncrief? I think he's got a first down. You know what we do when we're inside the one yard line. It's always a sneak from the quarterback. As I say, we're going for the MVP award. We're not going just to win games. We need to get as many points, touchdowns, yards, whatever we can get, and that's another one. I think that's our 10th rushing touchdown. We have nine rushing touchdowns this season in, I think that was our, this is our 10th game. So that's a, that's a big season from first year starter Tony Romo. Okay, we haven't run much play action today, so we're going to go to it, see whether it does actually affect the defenders. It did slightly, and Hearns gets open for another catch. I wouldn't be surprised if he was upwards of 100 yards today. Hope he is. Elliot there, open, and he's going to run into the end zone for another touchdown. So we need to get some, uh, well, we need to take the last 30 seconds off the clock. So what better way than just to throw to Greg Olsen for some yards, eh? Whoop, that's a fumble. Jump on it, boys. Okay. Woo. Looks like a blitz with the safety coming down like that. It is. And there's Michael Thomas again. We took the last 30 seconds off the clock and we should be over 400 yards passing as well. So Matt Patricia's defense 
allowed 550 odd yards today. He can't be happy about that. So there we go. 28 of 32, 411, four touchdowns and a pick. But that is going to be the end of Undrafted to MVP episode 10. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including weekly episodes of Undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time.